It's not a, a war law or a rebel name. So I bless God to be alive and I'm glad to be to have been in section today that our infamy and our disgrace did not um, uh, fall on uh, Liberia today because uh, I imagine what the war will have taken us to be and what the House of Representatives will have been like, the man who's on um, record for killing babies, he opened pregnant women's stomach, uh, he killed musicians, uh, the late uh, Tecumseh Robert, uh, I just saw his video, he killed him for no reason. So how would the families of those who have died feel on such a thing? So personally, I obstructed it, and as long as I have breath and I have left in me, I will always obstruct the Prince John saying every war law, they should not be celebrated, but they should be shamed, they should be confined in prison. So one could be asking why you accepted uh, the entire stuff in the first place for it for it to have gone to committee room and then committee acted upon him before he, he could bring it back to the plenary. Why? Wow, wow. Like I said, uh, everybody got a charisma, everybody got a spirit. I wasn't in section the time I went to the committee. My first time hearing it, I learned it was the second meeting. So today was my first time seeing that demonic report and the reason I called it demonic because it's be clouded with ghosts, or the crying spirit of all those who Prince Johnson had killed. So that's why I vehemently stood against it and because my presence was there. So, um, and I was glad that other colleagues like on um, Sibo, on um, Massacre, on um, Donkey, and a lot of colleagues said this is a disgrace to Liberia. And only few colleagues like on um, We Are Very Disappointed in him. He pushing that agenda on um, being Howard, who's a lawyer. I mean, he's not even prioritizing the country's interest. So you did not take a, I mean, last month, and you did not take a definite decision on the door, the presiding sees a motion, so one could still be in doubt. Uh, do you think uh, you're not going to add a point in another Well, session? that's the modus operandi, so the presiding will always sees the motion when he sees that the flow is tense and what they want to go through is not going to go through. And again, on record, George, we are just a bar apple. He has, uh, he has had a romantic relationship, I mean, a political romantic relationship with Prince Johnson. The fact that he can build a beautiful sport park and name it on a, uh, name part of it on a wall, Alaji Jivi Kuma. So, Josh, we are is in the habit of uh, supporting murderers and killers. I don't know what he really has to do with them. Yeah. So, I mean, the government is just telling the Liberian people. That uh, they will support more killers and warlords. So do you have personal problem with Senator Johnson apart from the killing that he have involved in doing our civil crisis? Or do you have any other problem with him before taking serious session to that bill today? Yeah, the personal problem I have with him, he's a killer. He's not remorseful for all the innocent lives that he killed. Uh, he wants to dignify killing, and that's something I will not accept. Even if the whole nation accept, I won't accept it. So, if Prince Johnson were to uh, show any remorse by openly apologizing to the Liberian people, will you forgive him? Well, it's a process. If he openly apologizes, that doesn't mean that the university is going to be built in his name. I mean, you can name it after Nima Polytechnic University, name it after someone important in Nima, someone who sacrificed for Nima in a more positive way. And if Prince Johnson apologized, the only way I will forgive him, let him be locked up and confined in jail. Is your problem only the nomenclature? Uh, I got multiple problems, but today the issue is naming the... I mean, it is his private school, right? So he can name it in his private name. But for you to bring us an act for us to give it chapter, we have to change the name or we trash it outside. So legislative politics is about number. Do you have uh, the full number, the strength and support from your colleagues because this fight cannot be sustained by you alone so that you will not have any stop in the bar? Well, it's not about being stop in the bar. You saw it today. However, if they want to twist and turn, the record's going to carry me, posterity going to judge me. It's just going to be a useless and irresponsible group of people will be at the time for them to pass such a thing. And, and I mean, it's going to rain that heavy on Liberia, you know? Our people stay 45 years old and 50 years old and if they stay youth care, man. You're not in youth anymore. That's the same. So what do you think of the, the, the bizarre masses in the motion? Like I said, it's the modus of Urandi when certain, thing, when certain um, uh, topic is things and 
and the and it's in the favor of the government that be or the the CDC government. So they usually seize like the resolution for war and war crimes court. It has been seized now for three years because the the flow wanted to. I mean, I just don't get over why the people keep protecting and promoting a killer like Prince Johnson. It's a terrible killer. All right. So as we transition to the communication that you wrote. Uh, the plenary concerning the NEC decision. Uh, so as we conclude on this topic, uh, one, one side of the story is the investment was done by uh, Prince Johnson, the senator, and there are students already in the, the school. Uh, so, I mean, what, what is so important to have the school rather than just giving a name, um, name, just a name? How uh, do you look at that? I mean, if it, if it was Republic of Prince Johnson, it's not a problem, but this is Republic of Liberia. It does not alter well for a country to be named. You know, if Prince Johnson was a warrior that fought for us in another country and he brought victory, that's different thing. But a man who killed his own citizen for no reason and then we're going to honor him. Don't so, you think it's too hard? Which one is too, too, too hard? For you to see pregnant woman and open her stomach and for me to stand for the truth. Which is very really harsh. All right, so, go on. Let us go to NEC. You, you. You, you sent communication to plenary today uh, calling on the horses plenary to invite the head of the National Election Commission, which is the, the chair, to clearly explain as to how this biometric will be able to go on. Can you just explain a bit about the background of your communication as well as we did so this biometric registration? Okay, so thank you for that. Uh, the communication, as was read in plenary, it's very clear. It does not have any political undertone. It's actually meant um, for the betterment of the country and the people that we're dealing with. Uh, so if you read through the communication, I, ha I have a few points. Uh, the biometric is something, it's, it's a new system. It needed to have been tested or you, you have done a pilot project about it. So usually before you introduce a new system, you do piloting, you see how it works and then you spread it to various regions. Just like in Liberia, people don't pay attention to details, and so people just uh, hurry to do a lot of things that they want to do. So NEC needs to come, like I wrote in the communication, because I learned that the whole process is going to be for 20 to 21 days. So how are you going to do it in 21 days? Uh, is something new, a lot of, I mean, the biometric is just the digital registration. They are good part of it, don't get it twisted, to cut you the, the choking and the um, multiplying or multiplication of voter registration card. But there are cultural um, disadvantages too, there are legal disadvantages, there are social disadvantages, there are other models, there are other countries who have had it. I think in New Guinea, uh, there was some uh, contention there about inflating in the normal cards, so we had to deal with it in Nigeria, some, there was some cultural problem. So I show we have similar culture in West Africa, and now we just have 20 days. So there are some people culture, maybe uh, they don't do certain things with technology, but that's not the main thing. The real thing that I see here is the, is, is the underlying cyber theft. So how can we be protected and a lot of system will not be um, generated? Like uh, my team did some research and said the biometric has this memory card. So anybody that will have get hold of the memory card, you can use the memory card and do a lot of things with the biometric system, how prepare its neck, what is the security put in place. I'm a critical person against this government. Hashem Ada George does not want to use the biometric and, and get more normal and kick me out. So I have to be very keen and technical on that. Yeah. So what do you think the NEC is coming up with with that with all of those all of those uh, critical analysis you're doing? I'm sure as technician within the NEC they know all of those things when you talk about cyber tests, when you talk about uh, cultural barrier, they know all of them. Why would they come up with at this critical time of the election? We, yes, so this is why we're calling them so we can have a mutual meeting of the mind, we can have exchange of ideas, we will raise all the tough and critical questions. And um, they will answer it and they will speak to the people through their deputies. And NEC has got to be very careful. Like you see the thing about the uh, election magistrate, changing of the magistrate. I'm not going to support that. The reason I'm not going to support that, uh, NEC was created by this very body. NEC has a lot of power to do what she wants to do to regulate her election. 
The fact that it did not even come from there, it came from the Senate, meaning it's more political than uh, professional or technical service. So I'm, I'm going to be against the changing of all of those magistrates. It did not come from NEC, it came from a political body. So it has a sinister motive, so we're going to work against it. So you as a lawmaker, have you found a lot about metrics at this time? And uh, so these are my concerns, and that's, and that's going to be one of my questions, what about metric at this time? Why they don't use it in the local county by election? In fact, we've had more by election in Georgia government. More lawmakers die in this government than in any government I've, I've seen. I think I, I just saw um, Ellen Johnson and Father Chassis who have more uh, uh, by election in Georgia government. More people die on the region. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.